Hey guys, I'm T, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. This sweater combines a few favorites with a couple new twists. I've always wanted to do a split cable that kind of mimics jewelry, but I never got a chance to do it until now. I'd say it's been worth the wait. It turned out great. It's super comfy, but the cables add just enough flair to make it look regal, and I'm always a fan of that. And if you're a fan too, be sure to let me know in the comments. It may seem crazy, but I still read each and every one, though now it takes me a little bit longer. Speaking of, I won't hold you, so without further ado. For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 495 grams of yarn, and that's 910 yards if you're stateside. As the tools, a 5.5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch to the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. I'm using five stitches for this project, and they will be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. Treble crochet. and double treble crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5.5mm hook, and we are all going to start off by making a chain of 9. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of 2. That's our turning chain. From here, we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet, and then into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a half double crochet. So insert your hook into that chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, and pull through three. Let's do the next half double crochet together. We're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. I'm going to put one half double crochet into every chain. Now that we have our first half double crochet row, we're going to be doing one more. So do a chain up of two, flip our work. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet, insert your hook into that first stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, and put one half double crochet into every stitch. Now that we have our two half double crochet rows, our third row is going to be our cable stitch row, so let's get that started. We're all going to do a chain up of two and flip our work. We're going to start off by doing a front post treble crochet into the first half double crochet up into the first row. So yarn over twice. We're going to skip this chain up of two and go into that first half double crochet. So we're going to insert our hook underneath that half double crochet. We're going to yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. We're going to have this stitch along the ends, and in between it's going to be our cables, so let's get that started. We're going to start off by doing a set of two front post double treble crochets, so we're going to yarn over one, two, three times. Into that first half double crochet row, we're going to skip one, skip two, and then insert your hook into that third. So into this third stitch, we're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. We're going to put one more front post double treble crochet into that next stitch. So yarn over one, two, three times. Into that next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. We're next going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets into the two stitches that we skipped. So yarn over one, two, three times. Insert your hook into that first skipped half double crochet. 
So bring your hook back, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and we have one more half double crochet to go into. So yarn over one, two, three times. Insert your hook into that half double crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. Now that we have our crossover, we're going to do two front post treble crochets into the next two stitches. So yarn over one, two times. Into that next stitch, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then one more into that next stitch. So yarn over one, two times. Insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. And now that we have that, our cable is all finished, and we're going to close this off by doing another front post treble, like how we started off with, and then a half double crochet. So yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that second to last half double crochet that we have from the first row, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to close off this row by doing a half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. So yarn over once, find that last stitch, and then insert with a half double crochet. So insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, and pull through three. Do a chain up of two, flip our work, and put one half double crochet into every stitch. We've made our way all the way down that half double crochet row, and we should now have a total of four rows. Our next row is going to be another cable stitch row, so let's get that started. From here, do a chain up of two. Flip your work, and we're going to start this off by doing a front post treble crochet like our previous row. We're going to yarn over twice, insert your hook into that first post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Just to make sure, from here on out, every cable stitch row is going to be worked into the previous cable stitch row, just like how this one is. So let's get started on our cable. We're going to start off by doing a set of two front post treble crochets. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and then one more into the next stitch, so yarn over twice. Insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Next, we're going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets, skipping these next two stitches. So we're going to yarn over one, two, three times. We're going to skip one, skip two, and then insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then once more into that next stitch. So you're in over one, two, three times. Insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, 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 two. We're now going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets working into that window that we just made. So from here, yarn over one, two, three times. Make sure that you hang on to your yarn because it can very easily fall off. But from here, we're going to pull our work down to try and find these two stitches. So pull your work down and find those two stitches that we skipped. Here's my first and here's my second. I'm going to insert our hook into that first one. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, 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 and this is what our first crossover should look like, and we're going to do one more. So yarn over one, two, three times. 
Hang on to your yarn and pull your work down to find that last stitch. This is my last stitch. So I'm going to insert my hook behind there, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, two, two. And now that we have that, our second row of cables is finished. We're going to close this off by doing a front post treble and then a half double crochet. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that last stitch, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then close this off by doing a half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. So yarn over once, insert your hook into that last stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through three. To a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch. We have half double crocheted all the way down. We have a total of six rows, and from here we're going to repeat rows three through six until we reach the depth of our collar, making sure to meet back after a half double crochet row. If you need a refresher on how to do the cable stitch rows, I'll have those timestamps in the description, or leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Alright, so I am back with the length of my cable. I have a total of 34 rows, and this is 12 and a half inches or 32 centimeters. We should have all ended on a half double crochet row. So from here, we're going to do a chain up of two, and we're going to prep for our split. So we're first going to be putting one front post treble crochet into each of our stitches and then closing off with a half double crochet. So we're going to have a total of eight front post treble crochets. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into that first post, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Keep doing that until we have a total of eight. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight front post treble crochets, and now we're going to half double crochet into the last stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch from our previous row, pull through, pull through three. We're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch. So we've made our way across with our half double crochet row and now we're going to start working on our split. The first thing we're going to do is all insert our stitch marker into the fifth stitch. Then from here we're going to do a chain up of two and our split is going to be made of small twists. So since we have this outside stitch this is always going to be a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into there, pull through, pull through two, two, two. And now for our small twist, we're going to yarn over twice, skip this next stitch, and then insert your hook into the next. Insert, pull through, pull through two, two, two. We're going to put one more front post treble crochet into that next stitch, yarn over twice, insert, pull through, pull through two, two, two. We're going to put one front post treble crochet into that stitch that we skipped, forming our twist. So yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, two, two. We're now going to close this off by putting one half double crochet into that fifth stitch or that stitch that has our stitch marker in it. So yarn over, insert your hook into there, pull through, pull through all three. Now that we have our first twist, we're going to insert our stitch marker into that chain up of two that we did to start off this row, just so we know where the twist starts exactly. From here, to a chain up of two, flip the work, and put one half double crochet into every stitch. Now that we've put one half double crochet into every stitch, to a chain up of two, flip our work, and I'm going to do one more row of twists with you guys, but it's going to be done exactly the same. So do our outside stitch, which is a front post treble crochet. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into that first stitch, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now we're going to yarn over twice, skip that first stitch, insert your hook into that second stitch. Insert, pull through, pull through two, 
two, two, yarn over twice, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now for a twist, one front post treble crochet into that stitch that we skipped. Yarn over twice, insert, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then put one half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. Yarn over once, insert, pull through, pull through all three. Do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one half double crochet into every stitch. Now that we've made our way to the end of our half double crochet row, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then repeat our two previous rows until this reaches our shoulder. And then do a chain up of one and cut. I'll meet you guys back so we can do the other side together. All right, so I am back with one side of my split. I have a total of 55 rows, or just measuring this portion right here, I have a total of seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters. And now we're going to work on our other split. So we're going to start by inserting our hook into the stitch that our stitch marker is in. So the middle stitch from our previous row. Pull through, do a chain up of two. And now we're going to do the same thing that we did here, but we're going to mirror it because we want it to be symmetrical. So we're going to yarn over twice. This stitch is for this other split, so we're going to count one, two available stitches, and then into that third, do a front post treble crochet. So insert, pull through, pull through two, two, two. We're now going to work into the two stitches that we skipped, but like in our big cable for our row number five, we're going to work into that window that we made for ourselves. So yarn over twice, hang on to your yarn, pull your work down to find those two stitches that you skipped. Here's my first and here's my second. I'm going to insert my hook in through that first stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and we have one more stitch, so yarn over twice. Hang on to your yarn, pull our work down to find that stitch in our window. Insert, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then to close this off, we're going to do our outside stitch, which is a front post treble crochet, so yarn over twice, insert, pull through. Pull through two, 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 and then the last stitch of this row is going to be a half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. So insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. When we have this first row for this other split, we're going to take our stitch marker and then insert it into that half double crochet that we just made so that we know where the split starts on both sides. And from here, we're going to do a chain up of two. Flip our work and put one half double crochet into every stitch. Now that we put one half double crochet into every stitch, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then we're going to repeat our last row. So let's do that together. We're going to yarn over twice, skip one stitch, two stitch, and then insert your hook into that third with a front post treble crochet. So pull through, pull through two two, two, yarn over twice, and then insert your hook into the two stitches that we skipped, working in through that window. So hang on to your yarn, pull your work down, and insert your hook behind that first stitch. So insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and we have one more stitch. So yarn over twice, Insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, two, two. We now have our outside stitch, which is a front post treble crochet. Insert, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then one half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. Do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then one half double crochet into every stitch. And now that we have this row, so you guys can see that they're starting to mirror each other. 
but we're going to repeat our two previous rows that we did until we have the same amount of rows as we have over here. Do a chain up of one and cut, and then I'll meet you guys back. We've just finished both sides of our slit, and we're now going to work on our side panel. So getting started on one of them, it doesn't matter which side we insert our hook into, but we are going to be inserting into the top stitch. And then we're going to single crochet down while doing a decrease where our stitch marker is. So I've inserted my hook into this top corner stitch right here. I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one. From here, we're going to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side half double crochet row. So let's do the first one together. This is my first side half double crochet. I'm going to insert my hook with one single crochet. This is my next side half double. So I'm going to insert with one and then into that same side half double with two. Let's do one more set. Into this next side half double, there's one single crochet. And then into this next side half double, there's two. And we're going to keep alternating between one to two single crochets all the way down until we hit this stitch marker that we have right here. And then we're going to do a decrease. We've done our single crochets all the way down until we hit our stitch marker. Now from here into this next side half double crochet and into the next, we're going to do a decrease of two. So insert your hook into that next side half double, yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to insert our hook into that next side half double, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. From here, we're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And then we're going to insert our stitch marker into that stitch that we just made. And then from here, we're going to go back to alternating between one to two single crochets into every stitch, making our way all the way down. Now that we have single crocheted all the way down, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. So to do a back loop half double crochet, we're going to yarn over, and then instead of inserting our hook in through both loops, we're only going to be inserting our hook into that loop that's farthest away from us. So yarn over, insert your hook into that back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Let's do one more. Yarn over, insert your hook into that back loop, pull through, pull through three. We're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. We put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch up until we reach our stitch marker stitch. Into that stitch, we're going to do an increase of two. So we can take this out now and insert our hook into that next stitch with one back loop half double crochet and then one more back loop half double crochet into that same stitch. So that is my increase. From here, we're going to attach it into the base. So we're going to count up one, count up two, then into that stitch, we're going to slip stitch to close off this half double crochet row. And in order to work our way up to the next row, it's going to be a back loop single crochet row. So we're just going to be slip stitching up one stitch and flip our work. Into that first stitch that we have from our previous half double crochet row, we're going to do an increase of two single crochets. So we're going to insert with one back loop single crochet and then once more into that same stitch, forming our increase of two back loop single crochets. We're going to put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then make your way back up, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, increasing into that last, and then connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. And then from there, slip stitch into the next stitch, flip your work, do an increase of two back loop single crochets, and then single crochet back down. We're going to be repeating these two rows until we don't have any more stitches left to go into, and then I'll meet you guys back. Okay, I am back and I have finished my side panel. We're now going to do our shoulder portion, which is going to be super easy. All we're going to do is the next row in our sequence. So for me, it's a half double crochet row. So since I'm along the bottom, I'm going to do a chain out of two, flip my work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. At the end of that row, I'm going to do a chain out of one, flip my work, and then put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. 
If you guys end it along the top, then start with a single crochet row and then a half double crochet row. And we're going to keep alternating between those two rows until this point reaches the tip of our shoulder, making sure that we end along the bottom of our work. And really quickly, as you guys can see, I did finish my other portion over here and I just did that to make sure that I had the right row counts for you guys. But don't worry, this is all going to be done the same exact way. Go ahead and get your shoulder portion done and then I'll meet you guys back. Okay, I now have my shoulder portion. I have a total of four rows right here and now we're going to start our underarm portion. We're first going to insert our stitch marker into the stitch that's nearest to our underarm and mine is into my 22nd stitch from the top and this is 7 inches or 18 centimeters. And since we all should have ended along the bottom, we're going to do a chain up to flip at work and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we are two stitches right before our stitch marker so that we can decrease together. We've just put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and we are two stitches right before our stitch marker. So into this next two stitches, we're going to do a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. We're all going to yarn over, insert our hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through one. We should have three loops on our hook. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through all four of those loops. Now we're done with this row, so do a chain up one and flip your work. Our next row is a back loop single crochet row and we are going to start with a decrease as well. So insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, also into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. Should have three loops on our hook, so yarn over, pull through all three. One back loop single crochet into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain up of two, flip your work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Remembering to decrease into the last two stitches and keep alternating between a back loop single crochet and back loop half double crochet row, making sure that we decrease into the tops of every row until this underarm portion reaches mid underarm. And then I will meet you guys back. My underarm portion is now finished. I have a total of four rows right here. I did do a chain up of one and cut. And now we're going to do the same thing that we did here on this other side. So since I already have mine done, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it really quickly. It's going to be the same way that we did this side. So start off by inserting your hook into this top corner stitch, and then alternate between one to two single crochets into every side half double crochet, while decreasing into the stitch that our stitch marker is in, and then alternate again between one to two single crochets, making our way down, and then repeat everything that we did here on the other side. And then I will meet you guys back. So our entire front panel is finished and now we're going to do our back panel. We're all going to start off by making a chain the same amount of stitches that we have as our last shoulder row. And we're doing that because we need the same height. If you guys have my numbers, I have a total of 71 stitches all the way down. So I'm going to make a chain of 71. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. This is our turning chain. From here. We're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet, and insert our hook into that chain that we blocked or the third chain from our hook. So insert your hook into there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Let's do one more. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, and pull through three. Put one half double crochet into every chain. We've put one half double crochet into every chain and to work our way up to the next row, we're going to do a chain up one, flip our work, and then put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. And then when we make our way down to the end, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And we're going to alternate between those two rows for the same amount of rows that we have for our side panel and our shoulder. And then we're going to add three extra rows as well. And that's going to count for half of our cable. So if you guys are going with my rows, I have a total of 23 side panel and shoulder rows. I'm going to add three on top of that. So I'll meet you guys back when I have a total of 26 rows. My 26 rows are finished and now I'm going to do my underarm portion. 
So like my front panel, I'm going to insert my stitch into that same stitch. So I counted down 22 and inserted my stitch marker. Since we're along the bottom, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the two stitches that we have right before our stitch marker because we're going to decrease into there together again. Now that we have two stitches right before our stitch marker, we're going to do a decrease again. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. Into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four. And just like for our front panel's underarm portion, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and start our next back loop single crochet row with a decrease. So insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through. Into that next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. And put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. And repeat these two rows until we have the same amount of underarm rows as our front panel. I have the first half of my back panel finished. I'm going to show you guys where to insert your hook for the other side. And then the rest is going to be a repeat of this first half. So taking a look at the initial chain that we made, we're going to be inserting our hook into the stitch that's opposite from our tail end. And we're going to make sure that we're inserting our hook in through that back loop. From here, we're going to do a chain up of two, and then we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and then repeat everything that we did over here. I'll meet you guys back when the entirety of our back panel is finished. Now that I have my back panel all finished, we're going to single crochet across the tops of our panels to make our shoulders seem easier. Starting with our back panel, we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch of the back panel, pull through, and do a chain up of one. Then from here, we're going to be putting one seam crochet into every side row, making our way all the way across. So into this first side row, I'm going to insert with a single crochet. Into my next side row, I'm going to insert with another single crochet. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. Once we have that, do a chain up of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we did here for the front panel, and then we'll seam everything together. We've single crocheted across the front and our back panel, and we are all finished with that, so now we're going to start our seams by seaming our side. We're first going to take our front panel and flip it inside out, meaning our cable is going to be face downwards. Now that we have flipped our front panel over, we're going to insert our hook into the first available stitch in our front panel, and then into the first available stitch we have into our back panel. Insert your yarn onto your hook and pull through everything. Do a chain up of one to secure. From here, we're going to single crochet, making sure we're going in through the front and the back panel at the same time. So into that next available stitch, insert your hook into there, into the front panel, and then into your next available stitch into the back panel, insert your hook into there, there we go. And then single crochet. Let's do the next one together. Insert your hook into that next available stitch into the front panel. And then into that next available stitch into the back panel. And then single crochet. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. And then do a chain up one and cut. Now that we've seamed our side, we're now going to seam our shoulder. So we're going to start that by inserting our hook into this corner shoulder stitch into the front panel and then also into the back panel. And just like for our sides, we're going to single crochet both panels together. So pull through both, do a chain up of one. We're just going to do one together since we already know how. So go ahead and insert your hook into that next available stitch into the front panel, and then into the next available stitch into the back panel, and then single crochet them together. Keep doing this until we don't have any more stitches left into the front panel, do a chain up of one and cut. And then seam our sides and our other shoulder portion on the other side. Now getting started on our sleeve, we're first going to insert our hook into the stitch that's nearest to our side seam. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one to secure. And then from here, we're going to be putting one single crochet into every side row that we have. So my first side row is this side single crochet row. So I'm going to insert my hook into there with one single crochet. This is my next side row, which is a side half double crochet row. So I'm going to find that top loop and single crochet into there. And we're going to keep doing that until we don't have any more of these underarm rows left to do. 
And then when we reach our shoulder portion, we're going to be putting one single crochet into every stitch, making our way up and over, and then closing this row off with more single crochets into our underarm portion. Then slip stitch into that chain up of one space, and then I'll meet you guys back. And a really quick tip, once when you get to the last stitch that we have right here, right before our shoulder seam, go ahead and insert your stitch marker into this stitch and into the first stitch that we have on the other side of our shoulder seam as well, just so we know where to stop our increases and where to stop our decreases. Now that we have single crocheted all the way around, I have slip stitched into that chain up of one space. And now we're going to make a chain the length that we want our sleeve to be, keeping in mind that we will have a cuff as well. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 60, and that's 16 inches or 41 centimeters. And now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two. That counts as our turning chain. From here, we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. Then we're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from the hook. So insert your hook into that chain, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through three, let's do the next one. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through three. Put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one, because we're going to increase together. Now that we're at our last chain, we're gonna do an increase of two half double crochets. So we're gonna yarn over, insert your hook into that last chain, pull through, pull through three, then one more half double crochet into that same last chain. So insert, pull through, pull through three. You're now gonna need to close off this row by slip stitching it into the second stitch into the base. So let's count up one, count up two. Slip stitch into that second stitch for this row. And then in order to work our way up to the next row, which is a back loop single crochet row, we're going to slip stitch, into the next stitch into the base, and then flip our work. Now for this portion, we're going to start off our next row with an increase of two back loop crochets, and we're always gonna be increasing into the stitch nearest to our base. So let's do this together. Into that first stitch, insert your hook into that back loop, pull through, pull through two, there's our first single crochet, then one more single crochet into that same stitch. There is our increase of two back loop single crochets. From here, put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. We don't have any more stitches left. Do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last stitch because we're going to increase together one more time. All right, so closing off our third row, we have one stitch left and we're going to do an increase into there and then connect it into the base. So into that last back loop, we're going to insert with one half double crochet, and then one more, and slip stitch it into the second stitch into the base. So count up one, count up two. Slip stitch into there, slip stitch into that next stitch, flip our work, and start our back loop single crochet row. And we're going to keep alternating between these two rows all the way up until we get to this stitch that's right before our shoulder seam, and then I'll meet you guys back. I've made my way all the way up to my stitch marker. We're now going to work our way down the other side of our sleeve with decreases into the stitches next to the base instead of the increases that we were doing. So since I ended along the base right here, my next row is going to be a single crochet row. So I'm gonna decrease with you guys right away. If you guys ended along the other end, your next row is going to be a back loop half double crochet row. So sit tight and we'll do those decreases together in the next clip as well. So if your next row is a single crochet row, I'm going to take out my stitch markers first. I'm going to slip stitch into that next available stitch and flip my work. Now we're going to do our first decrease, which is inserting our hook into our first back loop. Yarn over, pull through, insert your hook into that next back loop. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. And then from here, put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. When we're at the end of the row, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two stitches right before our base. 
I have half double crocheted all the way down, leaving the last two stitches that I have right before my base, and we're going to do this decrease together. We're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that second to last back loop, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through, we should have four loops on our hook, yarn over, and pull through all four. And connecting it into the base, we're going to slip stitch it into that second available stitch. So we're going to count up one, count up two, slip stitch into there to close off this half double crochet row. And since we're here, we might as well just get started on our next row, which is a back loop single crochet row. So slip stitch into that next available stitch and flip our work. And let's start with our decrease. Insert your hook into that first available back loop, pull through, into that next back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through three, and put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. We're going to keep alternating between those two previous rows that we did together, making our way all the way down our sleeve. Then I'll meet you guys back when we don't have any more stitches left so that we can seam our sleeve together. I've just made my way all the way down with my decreased portion of our sleeve and I don't have any more stitches left. We're now going to seam it together. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that our work is flipped wrong side out because we want this sleeve seam and our body seam to be on the same side. From here, I'm going to insert my hook into the corner stitch and also into the corner stitch of the back panel, but this is my working yarn. So from here, I'm just going to pull through, do a chain up of one. And like our other seams, we're going to be single crocheting both of our panels together. So let's just do the first one. Insert your hook into the next available stitch into the front panel. Insert your hook into the next available stitch into the back panel. And then single crochet them together. Keep doing that, making your way all the way down. Once we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up one and cut. Now that our sleeve is seamed, we're now going to work on our cuff. We're going to start by inserting our hook into any one of our side rows along the bottom. Insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're going to put one single crochet into every side row. So this is my first side row that I have right here. I'm going to insert my hook into there with one single crochet. This is my next side row that I have right here. Insert with a single crochet. Make your way all the way around when we don't have any more stitches left to go into. Slip stitch into that chain of one space. Now that we have our single crochet row, we're now going to make a chain the length that we want our cuff to be. I want mine to be about three inches or eight centimeters, so I'm going to make a chain of 15. Now that I have my chain, I'm going to block off my last chain, do a chain up of one, that counts as our turning chain. And then into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, I'm going to insert with a slip stitch. So insert your hook, we're going to yarn over, and pull through everything that's on our hook. Let's do the next one. Insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, and pull through both of those loops. Put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we've put one slip stitch into every chain, into that next available stitch into the base, we're going to slip stitch into there to close off this first row. So insert your hook, yarn over, and pull through everything. And now this first row is connected. In order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch into the base, flip our work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through, into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through. We're going to continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When you reach the end, do a chain of a one, flip your work, and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. I'll meet you guys back when we don't have any more stitches left so that we can seam our cuff. I've made my way all the way around with my back loop slip stitch rows, and now we're going to seam it together. For the cuffs, we're going to make sure that our work is flipped right side out. And since our hook is already into one of the corner panels, we're going to insert our hook into the next corner panel. We're going to yarn over and pull through everything, and then do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're going to be doing outside loop slip stitches. So finding that first available stitch, we're going to insert our hook instead of going in through both loops, just in through that front loop with a loop that's closest to you. And finding that same stitch 
on the back panel, we're going to insert our hook in through that back loop. So in through this back loop right here. And from here, we're going to yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. Let's do the next one. Into this next available stitch, into the front panel, insert your hook in through that front loop. And then the next stitch into the back panel, insert your hook in through that back loop. We're going to yarn over and pull through everything. We're going to continue to do outside loop slip stitches all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. And then do a chain up of one and cut. And then do everything that we did here for this sleeve on the other side. Now that we have finished both of our seams, now it's time to get started on the bottom band. We're first going to insert our hook into any one of these side rows, and it's basically going to be a repeat of our cuff. So we're going to insert our hook, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And we're going to start by doing a single crochet row, making our way all the way across the bottom. And we're putting one single crochet into every side row. So my next side row is a side half double crochet. So I'm going to insert my hook into there, single crochet. My next side row is a side single crochet, insert, and single crochet. Let's do one more set. This is my next side row, it's a side half double, one single into there. And then my next side row is a side single, so one single into there. Keep repeating this pattern all the way across, making sure we put one single crochet into each of these bottom stitches along the bottom of our cable as well. And then do a slip stitch into that chain of one space. Now that we've single crocheted all the way around, we're now going to make a chain the length that we want our bottom band to be. And I want mine to be about three inches or eight centimeters. So I'm going to make a chain of 15. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain to a chain up of one. Into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to insert with a slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through everything. Insert your hook into that next chain, pull through everything. Put one slip stitch into every chain. Now that we've slip stitched into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch into the next available stitch into the base to close off this row. And then to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch into that next base. Flip our work and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So go ahead and insert your hook into that first back loop. Yarn over, pull through everything. And put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. When you reach the end, do a chain up of one. Flip your work and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch again, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. And repeat those two rows until we don't have any more stitches left to go into into the base. Then I'll meet you up so that we can seam it. We've made our way all the way around with our back loop slip stitch rows. We don't have any more stitches left to go into. And now we're going to seam our bottom band. We're going to do the same seam that we did for our cuff. So we're going to start off by doing an outside loop slip stitch seam. We're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch into the back panel, yarn over, and pull through everything. Into the next available stitch, we're going to be inserting our hook into the loop that's closest to us, or the front loop. And then into the next available loop into the back panel, insert your hook in through that back loop. Yarn over, pull through everything. Keep doing this, going all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do a chain of a one and cut. Now that we've finished our bottom band, we're now going to clean up our collar, and that's the last thing that we're going to have to do. We're going to start off by inserting our hook into any one of these stitches that we have along the back. Insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, do a chain up of one. And then from here, we're going to put one single crochet into every stitch that we have until we reach this corner right here. Now that we're at our last stitch, we're going to flip our work. And then alternate between one to two single crochets into the side of our cable. So this is my first side half double crochet row right here. I'm going to insert my hook into there with one single crochet. And then my next side half double crochet row, insert with two single crochets. So there's one. And then into that same side half double crochet, there is two. Let's do this again. Into this next side half double crochet, there's one. Into this next side half double crochet, there is two. We're going to keep alternating between those two until we reach the last half double crochet that we have for this side of our collar. Now that I've single crocheted all the way down, I have one side half double crochet left on this side. 
So we're going to do a decrease into this last side half double crochet, into this middle stitch, and then into this first side half double crochet. So we're going to insert our hook into that last side half double, pull through. Also insert your hook in through that middle stitch, pull through, and then also insert your hook into the first side half double we have on this side, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. And then from here, we're going to repeat the same thing we did over here. So just to start it off, insert your hook into that next side half double crochet with one and two single crochet. Our next one is one single crochet. Our next one is two. Alternate between that, making our way all the way up, and then finish singling off the back part, slip stitch into that chain of one space, and then cut. And now that we've single crocheted around the entirety of our collar, we are all done. The last thing we're going to have to do is just weave in all of our ends. Our super cozy cable stitch sweater was a blast to work up. I love the way they were able to get the cables to split for the collar, and it's already got our head spinning with future projects, so be sure to hit the bell so you don't miss out. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us how you first found the channel. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. All of those links are down below. Links are Etsy pages down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. Be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.